Do 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 the boss show. Hello and welcome to the boss show. This is your show for news about the studio, what we've been doing, what we're doing now, what we're going to do in the future, and to show you this. Do you see this? Do you know what this is? This is my smallest tripod. See? It's a little tripod. And whoop, ah, it's got a dangly leg. It's 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 getting better. You can take this little tripod and you put a little camera on it and you can aim it around and stick it somewhere here and there and you just pick it up and put it down and then the camera won't fall over. But you can take and put a really big camera on it. And it's if it's a big camera that looks like a dragon and this little thing is going wobbly, oh no, I can't hold it, and then I and then I wanna be this little tripod. And that's what I that's what's special about it to me. We have a really big boss show for you today because uh, last month there wasn't a boss show at all because, and the reason was I got really sick for a long time. You guys remember that, my foot and, my, and the medication, and so I didn't do a boss show, and this month's boss show is a little bit late, so I'm gonna try and lay it all out. Uh, I do have two videos that I wanna show you later in the uh, show. So we got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna go uh, through it as fast as I can. First thing is, of course, happy September. I hope, I, I've been hearing from some of you guys out there and you guys are like, thank God the temperature is going down. I know it's going down here too. It's been like 90, 100 degrees here for about oh, five years. And it finally it's starting to come down a bit. I'm happy for that. You're happy for that. Fall is coming, spooky month is coming i do hope you're ready for that also i want to say thank you so much to all of the if if this is like a ton of thank you then i want to give you this much thank yous last month patreon screwed up patreon did it i didn't do it i was really happy to say that something screwed up and i was like i didn't do it it wasn't me ah but what they did was they accidentally somehow kicked off a lot of the europeans and brits uh, from people's Patreons, and maybe if they weren't checking, they didn't know it. Now, I don't think Patreon did it on purpose or anything, but there's a lot of people out there who may not have known, and uh, some of you guys out there, it scared me a little bit, because um, when when I, when you guys like go away, my sandwiches go away, and then I start to panic, and I sent messages everywhere and said, hey guys, really need you, need you to check and see if you've been kicked off, and please come back. And, I mean, nobody had to do it. I didn't really, I didn't want to, like, inconvenience anyone. But, thankfully, uh, it looks like every single one of you did come back. In fact, um, there's a few new ones. I, and I, I'm, I'm so thankful that you guys went, hey, you know, I, I want to support him even though I got booted off for no damned reason. I might as well, you know, go and, and rejoin and thank you so much. I wanted to thank you for that. I, uh, I, I don't like it. The only thing that I like when about when Patreon screws up is that it's not my fault. So last month we played Someday You'll Return. That was a much longer game than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, however, a lot of you stuck with it uh, and um, a lot of you liked it. That turned out to be a really interesting story about, <laughs> about this guy. Uh, it seemed innocent at first. He's just looking for his daughter. And at the end, it turns out that he was a total douchebag. It was uh, quite a long game, but it did have a really deep story and it, it was very lovely too. It all happened in the, well, a lot of it happened in the woods. Some of it happened in bunkers and some of it happened, I'm sure, in some level of hell. If you missed that series, go back and watch it if you want something to see. It actually turned out really well. Also, we have had super cuts. I told you that we're gonna have super cut Fridays, right? Uh, I've been sticking with those. We've been doing them. We still have plenty to go. Hope you've been enjoying those. So after the Patreon screw up and uh, somebody will return and the normal stuff and, and now uh, we have new super cuts, everything seems to be bumping back to normal again. Uh, right now we are playing Viewfinder, which is in many ways, it's a brilliant game. If, if you guys remembered seeing Portal for the first time, like Portal 2 or well, actually the first Portal or the fourth Portal or the 12th Portal, I brain not work if you remember seeing the trailers for the first portal and going oh, whoa how that is a really cool mechanic how the hell that, that, that's even that's impossible they can't even do it uh viewfinder is kind of like that the when i first saw a demo of uh viewfinder it was a couple years ago i was like whoa that's not even that's crazy 
Now there's a whole game based on that mechanic, and uh, we're doing that uh, this month. Uh, I think it's gonna last most of, most of the month, and um, then we will start on something else. And we're also gonna continue on with the Monday shows and with the, uh, the, the super cuts. Those are still coming. And uh, so everything is bouncing back to normal. I, I'll tell you about the future here in a little bit, but uh, for the moment right now, I have a couple of videos that I wanna show you. Uh, and uh, the first one, uh, I actually uh, just uh, filmed uh, just a couple of days ago. So it's fairly recent um, and kind of heart touching in a way. So uh, take a look at this. Hello there and uh, welcome to my yard. We uh, take very great pride in our, our yard here at uh, Ranting Griffin Studios. As you can see, we keep it you know, very clean. The, the hedge is it's all nicely chopped and, and you know, of course, it, you know, it's all very, very clean and wonderful because we work really hard at uh, keeping the yard here nice. I'm just, <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> I mean, you, the, the yard actually is nice, which, uh, and that's not a lie, but it's, we didn't do it. I mean, I live with my housemate, but uh, we ran it. At the, I, I want to tell you a story. We, um, a couple years ago, uh, some dude came from across the street. He lived there. And uh, he's like, hey, um, you know, you could really clean up your yard. And I can't really do it because my, uh, my legs are kind of boned. And um, my roommate is pretty old. So he's like, well, let me take care of it. So he, he came over and he, um, he mowed it and he pulled some weeds. And we're like, hey, that looks pretty good. And he's like, hey, if you need somebody to do the, your yard, let me know and I'll do it. Well, not only did he uh, do a wonderful job on the yard and he, uh, he actually um, came over, he planted all this grass. This is new grass, he, he put it in. We had weeds here and the wall back there was falling down and he put, he, I mean, the whole wall. This is, he just made a wall. He, he kind of surprised us, he brought in this construction crew and um, he's like, no, I'll put you up a wall. And the thing, I mean, it's, it's a very nice retaining wall and we're like, Man, this guy, he, uh, thing is though, we, we tried to call him one day and he'd moved. He'd actually moved to uh, Oklahoma uh, and we were like, oh man, we, we really, you know, enjoyed what you did with our yard. And he's like, oh no, no, it's okay. You want me to come do it again? And we're like, hey, wait a minute now. And uh, no, the dude actually offered to travel, you know, across states to come and do our yard again. So. He did, and um, that's that's when he put in uh, all the grass recently. And uh, the only thing different this time was that there was something new about the yard, and that was that Noodle had died, and I buried her out here. And uh, I think uh, I've got a video uh, where I actually showed uh, her gravesite and how I put her rock there, uh, just to you know that was her favorite rock to memorialize where she was, right? Well, um, after he came here and he put in the sprinkler system and we showed him the rock and we said, that's, you know, our pet is buried there. Um, and then he did his stuff and he left. And uh, we came over and we saw this. He actually made a little gravesite for Noodle. And, uh, I don't know. I've never been really big on memorial sites for pets, but that's really nice looking. That's really nice. And it kind of, uh, I actually prefer it that way. You know? Now Noodle has all the rocks she wants to play with ever. And of course, my, my housemate said, boy, if she starts rearranging those things, then we need to worry. <laughs> but uh, no, I thought, first of all, I thought it was amazing that um, that guy would have so much care that he would do this. And I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty sweet. You know, I, I find it, it's really rare anymore when people have such a passion towards their job, what they do, their profession, that they will go out of their way to just do something that makes the customer happy. I don't even know if he was just making me happy. It, it, he seems like the kind of person it actually makes him happy 
to do a good job around the yard. He, he's and he's a crazy nice guy too. But I had to show you guys that because I, when I saw that, I, a a tear came from the eye. It was um that that was pretty heart touching. I got another video to show you. This one was filmed a while ago on I think it was the thirteenth of August. So it was uh, almost a month ago. It was filmed just after my birthday. People sent me a uh, birthday presents in the mail and. Since I, I'd been sick and um, I, I wasn't actually able to make a boss show, I didn't really know what to do, so I just filmed it. And this is the first time I can show it to you, so here it is. What is up, guys? I, uh, today's a little bit interesting because it's, there's going to be boxes, and I'm going to open them. But it's not an unboxing. The re one of the reasons it's not an unboxing is because uh, there's no mouse box. I can't really call it an unboxing unless there's a mouse. It's kind of honorary, you know, if, if there's a mouse box, then it's an unboxing. But if not, then it's something else. And I actually, uh, it is um, August 13th, and two days ago was my birthday, and people sent me birthday stuff. And I, I wanted to, uh, Mouse is actually gone right now. He, he went on vacation. And uh, so I hadn't seen him in a little while, but some other uh, dudes sent me stuff for my birthday and I would like to open them and see what it is. And happy birthday to my face. I am, I'm 51 years old now. I'm 51. <sighs> so uh, the first thing, I have an envelope here. Uh, and it, But it says on it, no, normally I don't like to read envelopes on, um, on camera because, and I've said this before, I don't know if, uh, if if it's some kind of secret message or somebody doesn't want anybody to know, but this one says right on the back, it says, feel free to read this on camera too. I I have permission. Uh, this is Shark's territory. Oh, wow. This is a, um, I think it's a ticket stub from a hockey game. I don't know how people learned that I was, that I actually liked hockey, but they did. And now I'm getting hockey stuff from people. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna complain because I do like hockey. It, I mean, if you really wanna, I, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask for anything. I, I hate asking for stuff, so I'm not gonna. Um, although I am a very big fan of football. Anyway, um, no, I, but I do love hockey. This is a, uh, a shark's ticket that um, happened somewhere, and I don't know where, but uh, yeah, it. Oh, and it's got a. Oh my God! It's this dude actually signed it. This is a signed ticket stub. You you guys are sending me stuff that I feel like is is valuable here. Uh, this letter was sent to me by Alex the Mule. And uh, I don't know, I know it says I can read this, but I don't think I'm going to because this would take me like 10 minutes to read this. It's a long mail, but instantly I'm already, I, I can see this and it, it like smacks me with nostalgia because if you look at it, it's, this isn't, this isn't printed from a printer. This dude is actually typing this out and it says, um, hopefully this letter made it to you one piece. If not, well, shit. <laughs> I typed this uh, using a 1963 Montgomery Ward Signature 100 typewriter. And yeah, I, I mean, you can tell because the the letters aren't always in line, but no, this, I it's so cool. For me, it's so cool to see an actual typewritten uh, letter again. I miss this. Wow, I, and I am gonna read this, by the way. I, I will read it. I'm not gonna read it like out loud to everybody because it's long, but thank you. All right, so we have um, we have a box. We have two boxes this time, and one of them is from one of my new friends. And I say friends, but I mean if you want to go te with technicalities, it is one of my new uh, patrons, one of my new uh, producers. But they always wind up becoming my friends. So new box from new friend. Uh, this friend is a, uh, a bat. He's a furry and he's a bat. 
and he lives in Maine, which I haven't been to Maine in a long time, but uh, that uh, that state is weird because when when you're in the Maine, it, when you're in the Maine, when you're in Maine in the summertime, it is humid. There are a lot of bugs and a lot of water, and you would think, oh my God, this is a rainforest. And then it turns winter, and um, then you wish it was summer again. <laughs> okay, well, oh, hey. Uh, and every time this happens. So, okay, uh, envelope. Let me look at this first. Maybe, maybe it's okay to read. I don't know. This may have, you know, this may be a sexual letter to me. I don't know if it's personal or not. Dear two. Inside this parcel are a few articles to assist in the care and maintenance of your excellent facial hair, packed with some local New England junk food and a bottle of spice mix, which is apparently associated with Maine, but my family hardly ever uses it. Thank you for embodying what this fandom has always truly been about, unabashed fun. And sincerely from my friend, and I, I actually, <laughs> I didn't get it wrong. It is the, it's, it is from the person that I thought it was from. Oh boy, and this always happens, by the way, when you send stuff, especially from someplace like Maine that's near sea level, to um, to Colorado. Was this a balloon? Was this a balloon before you sent it? It wasn't, was it? It is now, because it's at about 7,000 feet in the air, so don't you love it when that happens? This is, by the way, Humpty Dumpty uh, ripples, all dressed, flavored potato chips. This is, well, there, there's a lot of Humpty Dumpties in here. Humpty Dumpty dill pickle. You sent me dill pickle potato. I'm eating one of those right now. You, you just, you just wait a minute, try to find out. What the hell, what the hell? Wait a minute. And you sent me onion flavored, but Whoa, whoa, pause, pause it, pause this whole damn thing right now. God damn. Okay, I don't know what, I'm, I'm gonna try these. I don't know what all dressed potato chips are. They smell just like potato chips. I mean, that's that's good. And by the way, he was worried that they were pulverized. They don't, they seem to be okay. I think all dressed is made for barbecue. But they're, these are good. I'm gonna try the dill pickle ones. Now, I'm already suspicious of these a little bit because see, they're not a balloon. That means they must've got a hole in them. If you see potato, it's so easy to tell if a potato chip bag in the grocery store has a hole in it because it ain't a balloon. Boy, that's, mm, hang on. Definitely, definitely dill pickling. That is awesome. And finally, I got to find out what onion, just an onion chip? I've seen sour cream and onion, but I don't know if I've seen just onion. Let's find out. It tastes like sweet onions. Well, and potatoes, because, you know, they are potatoes. You know, I was just about to have to go out and get some more potato chips to eat with my sandwiches, but I don't think I'm gonna need to do that for a while now. Thank you very much, Bat, but Bat is not done. We are not done with Bat. Bat has... Old Bay seasoning. Now, I've heard of this. I've heard of Old Bay seasoning. I'm trying to remember if I tasted it. But if it happened more than 48 hours ago, nah, it's out of my brain. Old man. All right, Old Old Bay. Hang on. Ooh, that that is pretty spicy, dude. That okay. Woo. That's got a little kick to it, but it's also it, it's also earthy. It's almost wood-like. It, it's it's almost it's got this uh, almost like a fireplace sort of scent to it. It's um, you know if you mix this in with your barbecue sauce, dude, that would be good. We got a box inside a box. That that happens sometimes. Boxes and boxes and. One of these times I'm gonna open it up, it's gonna be Pandora's box and I'm just gonna melt. Either that or it'll be that box under the stairs. Like from my LSD file that you always see in your dream. You know that box? Could be that box. That's an even worse box. You know what's in that box? I can't tell you, cause then you'd know what's in it. Against the rules. This is just filled with stuff. There's little boxes and little things and whoa. 
Whoa, am I doing that wrong? That feels like I'm doing that wrong. How can I open a box wrong? Now I have another one of those razors that uses. Yeah, I like these. The See, what you do with this is some of them, some of them open when you twist them. I don't think this is, I think this is one of those you take the handle off. And when you do, yeah, now it opens up. You stick a razor blade in here and you stick it back down here and then you put this back on. And now you can shave with this. <laughs> and uh, you have to be a little bit more careful with these because, I mean, you're shaving with a razor blade. So if, if <laughs> you know how sometimes, you know, if you, if, when you're shaving, if you like accidentally move it sideways a little, you can get a little scratch. You're gonna get a little bit more than a scratch if you do it with this. It's, you, you, you can like die yourself. It's and 3,200 PSI boom and then that's that's the end so you got to be careful with these but i i love these razors uh yeah my father one used one like this it's good it's good to see these things are still alive i like these things this is oh smells wonderful oh no no <laughs> no it's soap it's very lovely smelling soap and it's like um <laughs> it's uh chaotic neutral it says that's the the scent of it you know it, it seems to fit me just wonderfully i gotta find out what's in these things because oh oh wait a minute oh wait a minute is this what i think it is it, it, it i think it is oh really you're being really nice to me this is like cologne isn't it wait a minute it, it, are you wanting me to smell a certain way because you like it is that what you're doing because you know i'll i, I will go ahead that is, oh wow, that is a, that's a really great smell. You know how like a lot of colognes will smell kind of the same? They all smell like, um, like Old Spice. Like, you know, you have like Old Spice, it smells mostly like alcohol and that little bit of flowers. This, this is really different. This, oh, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I will just, if you want to get with me, you better roll a 20, chaotic neutral. Oh, this is okay. This is this is also um, chaotic neutral, but it's aftershave. So this is what you use if you just you know you splash it on your face when you're home alone, and then you scream, and every and you're cute, and everybody buys your movie, and then you grow up, turn into a drug addict, get ugly, and um, and nobody cares anymore. That's that's <laughs> that's what that's for. That was the box from Bat. Uh, we have another box here. This box is from you know I think. I don't know if the, if this um, friend of mine is, I don't know if he's a furry or not. I think he might be a Pokemon. I don't, I'll have to ask him because I don't really know. But I may shit myself. All right, I, I'm, I'm a little scared here. Let, I'm gonna start out with the small, there's, there's big, another box inside a big box, right? Big box, small box. Small box, what's in the small box? Uh, oh, whoa. Well, there's that. Uh, this, this is a web camera. My, uh, I had one before uh, that I used to make calls with. It broke, because it was a cheap piece of crap, and uh, I couldn't use it to call uh, this friend of mine anymore, so he sent me a new web camera. Uh, what can I say, thank you. I'm gonna hook this up right away, and I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I have to call him in a few days anyway, so he's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna know where this came from. What does this look like, guys? What does it look like? This looks like a camera bag to me. I'm scared. I'm kind of hoping that it, there's snacks in here, but I'm also kind of hoping there's a camera in here. <laughs> Come on, open. Oh, what's wrong with you? Okay. Oh, thank God. There's only papers in here. Oh, goodness. They're just, you know, little manuals. Manuals for a camera. That's oh my God. Well, <sighs> group, it is a camera. Uh oh, and it's a lot like uh, and it works. Holy crap! I didn't have to charge it. Hey, I mean, can I actually? Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I can't record with it yet because it doesn't have a memory card in it. But it's ready to go. I mean, the 
The screen is working. Hi. Hello from two of me. Actually, what is this? Uh, this is a Canon. No, I'm sorry. It's a Sony. Well, it's okay. What I can read right now is a Sony Handycam. Uh, and so. Dude, what do I say? What do I say to you for this? This is a. I mean, cameras are crazy, crazy important to me. Uh, because, I mean, I can do more things with them. I can actually. Whoops. I think my thing went nuts back here, didn't it? Sorry about that. Yeah, I can. I can. I can film more angles of things. I can do more shows with these. I. I. There's so many things I can do with cameras. And, I mean, th this probably. I hope is a used camera and that is fine. I mean, I don't care if it's used. If, if I can film with it, I can, it, it actually helps me put out more material. This is, this is amazing. There, if there's changes in my material coming up, you see differences, you see more angles. It's going to be because of this. I, I got to give you the next time I see you, I got to give you a big old hug and a smooch right on your face. And I'm gonna be wearing some really nice cologne when I do it. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you guys, I, I don't, I can't say thank you anymore. Thank you for sending me gifts. Thank you for sending me letters, pictures. Thank you for everything. I, I cherish it. I really do. I, every time I get to my birthday, I'm, I'm, I keep thinking, well, probably nobody will remember and then I get, I, I get things like this. Makes me uh, remember that uh, some people out there still remember me. They still uh, still spend time with me together. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, this went on a little longer than I thought it would, but that's um, that's my birthday, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Again, thank you guys for the uh, the birthday presents. It made my day. It's been, I, I had been sick. I, I my, my arthritis and I'd been sick. And then I got presents from you guys and it, it, it took my mind off of it. It really cheered me up. And um, I'm still wearing that cologne, by the way. It's, it's uh, I love the smell of that stuff. Uh, let's see. In the future, the future. <laughs> we have more super cuts coming up. The little acre, it, actually, if this uh, is released on the day I think it is, I think the Little Laker is also going to come out today. Hey, double feature. I am that awesome. But soon uh, we're going to have a super cut. Uh, I think it's next. I don't know. It's going to they're all on Fridays. If you look on this thing, all the down with the one that starts with an F and ends with a Y and you go bug it. All those are super cuts. Uh, we got a Choo Choo Charles super cut. Remember him? My boyfriend, the train boyfriend. I, uh, super cut of that coming. There's a super cut, if you, I don't know if you guys remember this, one of the most unique and creepy mystery games I think I've ever found, uh, I think it was 2018, a game called Rumu, uh, super cut of that coming up, and I think, I'm not sure about this one, but I think maybe this month there will be a, a super cut of Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2, women always ask, why are men never emotional? Why do men never cry? Watch men during Titanfall 2. We're going to ball our eyes out. That, that is, there's woman sad and then there's man sad. Titanfall 2, the end of that is man sad. We will weep our butts off to that because it's, what, uh, I keep saying this, but, and I, but I am, I still am preparing for it. Rants are coming. In fact, I have, uh, I, I, not only are they coming, I'm doing the quiet part in the background, the part that you don't want to see, the, the part that, that, no, not that part. I'm getting down the basis for the rants and I've got uh, the basis and some writing and some recordings for three new rants now. Uh, so that part is coming up there. They are, I've been working on them. They are gonna get done. I want, uh, just, what I want to do with the rants is I want to have a rant, but I also want to have a political show. And I don't know how political, I want to have a show that will talk about political things when it, they need to be talked about. I want that to kind of go along with the rants. Like if I rant about something like, oh, say, hmm, random thing, climate change. If I wanted to rant about that, 
I would like it if there was a show that week that would go further into detail about climate change, about why I thought the way I did about it, and would also have some fun, interesting things. Imagine if you guys remember Radio Free Potato, something like that, only instead of like giving you some boring chunk of my life, we discuss something political, something social, something cultural uh, in there as well. I, I kind of want it to feel like that, but I also, I, and I want it to go along with the rant. I'm, not, I'm trying to organize that all. Starting a new show is the hardest thing because you got to get everything going. You got to get all the templates going and get everything that you want in the show. You have to make it first so you can put it all together. And it takes a while to start a new show out, but I I'm going to turn off my screensaver from now on. I swear I am. But once you get that show going and you have all that material together, then you can make them pretty easy. And uh, so I'm still, I'm working on the background for that show. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put it. I I'm either going to put it on YouTube and Rumble or just Rumble. I and I don't know which I should, any suggestions, please. Also, if you have suggestions about another game that I could play after Viewfinder, please put the down the there. A message for you who are my patrons already. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the Griffin Game Guilds, I hope that you are. I know we've been playing a lot of liminal games, uh, and that's that's great. But coming up pretty soon, only on Griffin Game Guild, which is exclusive to patrons, we're going to start playing. Uh, I have several games that are about puzzle boxes, really complicated and cool puzzle boxes. We're going to go into a phase of that for a while. That's going to be fun. I think that's going to be cool. It's going to be chill. We're going to be able to talk about a lot of stuff. So get ready come, get ready for that coming up eh, maybe close to the end of this month. Guys, thank you for watching me. Thank you for participating. And uh, if you have any suggestions, put them down. I want to see them. If you have any any complaints, any any criticism, put them down. And if you uh, just want to tell you how much you love me and how just absolutely attractive I am. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful September. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm sorry if it was. Uh, the next month, it won't be this long. There's just a lot to report this time. So guys, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful September, and I will see you again very soon.